Light water reactors are reactors that use normal water as the main coolant and moderator loop. There are two primary types of LWRs, boiling water reactors or BWRs and pressurized water reactors or PWRs. BWRs have the following schematic layout. Inside of the reactor vessel is the core as well as the control rods. Water is directly boiled by the core. This the steam that is produced here is taken to a turbine, which turns and turns a generator, which produces the electricity. The water is then cooled via the environment through a secondary loop and returned back to the core. BWRs usually have a 9x9 fuel assembly arrangement with a plus-shaped control blade that separates each of the fuel assemblies. This control blade is made of boron carbide. Additional boron is added to the water after every refueling. Reactivity in the core is therefore controlled by the flow rate in the primary loop, the level of insertion of the control blades, and the number of burnable poisons in the water. Burnable poisons are boron atoms, typically, that are dissolved in the water between 1 and 10 parts per million. The naturally occurring isotopes of boron are boron-10 and boron-11. However, it is the boron-10 that has the very large absorption cross-section, and is what acts as the poison inside of the core. Control blades function the same in BWRs as control rods and other reactor designs. The more the blade is inserted, the lower the reactivity of the core. Flow rate control is effectively the same as controlling the void reactivity coefficient. As seen here, the water in liquid form rises to a certain level, and the rest of the core above that is steam, which is effectively a void. We can approximate the steam region as a void because its density is so much lower than that of liquid water. Recall that the void coefficient of reactivity is alpha sub void, which is equal to the partial derivative of the reactivity with respect to the void fraction. Given a total core volume of V sub C in cubic centimeters, a steam volume of V sub S, also in cubic centimeters, and a water volume, V sub W, in v sub, also in units of cubic centimeters, the void fraction is the volume of the steam divided by the total volume of the core. Also called Q in cubic centimeters per second, the volumetric flow rate such that Q equals the time rate of change of the water volume, which is equal to the time rate of change of the core volume minus the steam volume, which, since the core volume is effectively constant, is just equal to negative dv sub s dt, which is equal to negative v sub c times our void fr the derivative of our void fraction with respect to time for a constant volume, uh, for a constant core volume. Therefore, df equals minus q v sub c dt. And d rho equals alpha df, which is equal to minus alpha q v sub c dt. Expressing this as a difference equation instead of an ordinary differential equation, we see that the change in reactivity for a BWR coming from a given flow rate is the reactivity at time t minus the reactivity at time 0 is equal to minus alpha q times v sub c times t minus 0, which means that the change in the reactivity is equal to minus the void reactivity coefficient times the flow rate q times the volume of the core times the time.